Welcome to Valley Children's Stadium, everyone, the home of the Fresno State Bulldogs and for a team whose mantra is anytime, any place, anywhere, it's always good to be home and these fans have shown up for the clash we have ahead of us. Maybe you need a little caffeine or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Washington State Cougars, taking on a team recharged after a much... Washington State lined up to kick it off and get this game going. Bringing it out. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. So Fresno State's offense takes the field. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. It's complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air. It's Keane. They're bringing heat. He'll pull it down and run. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. They'll try the run. And he'll pick up the first. Very tough run there. Fresno State back to work with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Now on second down. The give on the inside. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. Pressure coming. Keeps the play going. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. Fresno State will have to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And that punt will make its way into the end zone, and they'll put it in play from their own 20. The Cougars offense will go to work for the first time. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Washington State going quickly. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. To the ground to try to move the chains. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Now on first down from the 30. And a first down for the offense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. 
from the gun. They'll give it on the inside. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. Washington State sends out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Let's see what he can do with it. Pretty solid coverage there. They'll stop him at the 26. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. They reached deep in the playbook, used almost all of them, it seemed, Jesse, and still ended up having to punt last time. And I think on this next drive, David, you can go back to some of the stuff that worked that last drive, too. Find the things that you had success with. You just got to be able to build on it. Yeah, and just break that extra tackle, you know, make that extra play, make the guy miss, put a drive together so you can finish with some points. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to pass, it's Keen. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside, now they're in the open field, it's so tough, those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you can tell the speed sets him up, makes the big play out to the left. He'll keep it himself. Pick up a five, they'll need five more on third down. Trying to pick up a first down. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. They're trying to get to it. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they got it at the 40. Fresno State moving it quickly down the field. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Handoff from the gun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. And he just wore out his welcome in the pocket, stayed in there way too long. A coverage sack for this defense. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel grouping. They've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys. And they're 4-1. They got the job done. Fresno State will have to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. From the gun, give on the inside. At the 40, there he goes! They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Washington State lines up quickly. What perfect execution on that big run. Everything perfectly blocked, and this guy doesn't need a lot of room. I love how this offensive line communicates and works up front. You see guys winning their one-on-one -on -one battles. There's double teams happening. Guys are getting into the second level and creating big lanes for this running back. It's one thing to get that huge play. Now you got to cash it in with six. First and ten from the 24. He wants to throw. Trying to get to him. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Man, you think you've got the defense reeling. You just hit him with a big one. You're going to do it again, and instead, sack. Oh, it's a missed opportunity, too, because you deliver the haymaker the play before. You got your opponent on the ropes. You're swinging for the fences on the next play, trying to deliver the knockout shot, and you can't keep your QB protected. Nice job answering by the defense. They go to the ground. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale.
Based on that, we can hope to see a little more offensive explosion here in the second quarter as we get ready to get things started. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Feeling some heat. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. And it's right down the boulevard. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. Washington State, three. Fresno State, zero. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Power football with the run. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play and a sack. Well, one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies in that backfield for the QB to make anything go. Fresno State will have to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. And it's picked off. Taking it the other way. The 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Fresno State. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I show you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But the defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, a big time top 25 duel. Let's get right to the pictures. USC is currently ahead early in this one inside the Coliseum. But unlike the days of Reggie Bush and Matt Leiter, they just haven't been able to pull away. They're up by four over Penn State. Give to the running back. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Keep it on the ground. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. And the Cougars headed quickly to the line. Wants to throw on third. He makes the grab, and they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Off play action on first down. Ample time in the pocket and lets it go to the left. Oh, picked off. Got some room to run. 
A dangerous cover man and a dangerous return man after the pick as he gets it all the way to the 44-yard line. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. The give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Right back to the well. On the move is the 30. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense able to make the stop. Wants to throw on first down. They're bringing heat. Pressure all over the quarterback and down he goes at the 24. I'll tell you what, the offense, they get the big run play and then what are you thinking? Maybe play action, take a shot. How about the defense? They were ready to roll. Even though they gave up the run, they didn't just play the run. They were ready for the pass and got the big sack. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. Back to throw, it's Keem. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Fresno State! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason is we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. If we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. Dave, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And the extra point makes it 14-3. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Got his man out of the backfield. And they pick up just a few on that completion. The Cougars come to the line in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the inside give. Good blocking, good running, pick up of six out to the 30. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking to throw for it. Makes the grab on the left. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Washington State going back to work on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Hernandez. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Pulls it and fires to the left. He'll be tackled at the 49 after a pickup of five. Washington State ready to go with another first down. Good enough for first down. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete. Charge loose by the hit. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And that's a live ball behind the line. He picks it up, still on his feet. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. 
Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it slow motion. Like, I gotta get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. Washington State will have to boot it away. Second time today they've been forced to punt. And that is textbook, instructional video, out of bounds right around the goal line. The gift to the back. Little bit of running room as he picks up four and gets it out to the five. Solid pick up of four on first down at second and six. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Long way to go for this offense. First and ten from their own 12. He's got it on the right. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. The Bulldogs pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Got three on first down at second and seven. He'll do it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And the Bulldogs want to move quickly. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. Leaves it with the back. Breaks the tackle. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Looking for a man. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And they take it in for six more points. No midseason concentration laps here in Week 7 as they push out that lead. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Caught in the backfield, it's Maxwell. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Here's the return. He gets a block. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Fresno State takes over, and the offense will go back to work. Release to the back. Incomplete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Wants to throw. It's Keen. They're trying to get to it. 
And the defense gets to the quarterback. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Fresno State will have to punt. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the move, it's Freeman. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a crease. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. From the gun. The ground game. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific scene there today in Fresno. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Valley Children's Stadium. Fresno State lined up to kick off and start this second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The Cougars want to crank the tempo. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He wants to pass it on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Hernandez. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. The play action fake. Not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. And they can't make the connection on third down. Washington State sends the punt team onto the field. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. He leaves it with his back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Keen. He lets it fly. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Coming after him. Shakes off a tackler. At the 45 on his way. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Fresno State back to work with a fresh set of downs. These quarterbacks are nightmares to play. Pretty good coverage on the outside. Man-to-man, -man, nobody looking at the quarterback. He takes off. He doesn't look like a quarterback. Looks like a running back. Shoes up yards, gets way down the field, and makes a big play for this offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll try it again. 
Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Takes it from the gun on third down. Trying to get to him. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. And I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that lead grows even bigger. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Game of the day, guys. Arguably the game of the season, and we've got an update. LSU is running away with things right now, and you just know Mike the Tiger is loving this offense today. They're up by 17 over Ole Miss. We'll circle back if anything changes in this contested top five matchup. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is ready to give them a first down. Washington State going quickly. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Oh, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Second and ten here. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grab behind the line. It's Hernandez. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Washington State sends out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Keen. They've got the screen set up. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. To the air on first down. Feeling some heat. And they got him for the sack. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass pro. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. The give out of the gun. Still running at the 40. And tackled there by the defense. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Fresno State will have to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He gets it out to the 17, the cover unit right there to make the stop. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. From the gun, the running back has it. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll leave it with him. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Washington State lines up quickly. On third 
third and short. They'll try to convert through the air. Got his man. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That was beautiful. Fires to the big fella. At midfield, he's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Washington State has it all working right now. They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things. I it makes me come up and use my eye. Got it inside the 10. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington State. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pulls them closer. It's 24 to 10. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. And he takes this from inside the five. Ripping through the defense. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Wide receiver shows motion. He's looking to throw it. He's got his man. At the 35, he's got room. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll start again from the 38. They'll test the right side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense in an empty set. To the air. It's Keane. He's got it. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. That last completion is still leaving them with a third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Finds a tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. The Bulldogs come to the line with a new set of downs. To the ground with the back. Plows through the defense. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. That's the end of the quarter, guys, and Fresno State is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He'll try to do it himself. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. From the gun, wants to pass. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many sacks. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. Fresno State will have to punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll bring it back. It's Freeman. Really explosive when he gets his hands on the ball. And he found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Washington State going quickly. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative, or whatever that looks like for this. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And you're seeing the pass rush on the side of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed. 
awesome this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He's going to let one fly down the middle. It's complete. A huge pickup. Oh, look out. Touchdown, Cougar. And once he got loose, it was all over. Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fresno State, 24. Washington State, 17. Out of the end zone. Gets it across the 20 to the 21 and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. Fresno State takes over and the offense will go back to work. He'll start this drive firing. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. The give from the gun. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. He'll try to get it through the air. Getting some heat. He tries to take the top off. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Bringing it back, it's Freeman. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. First down here for the offense. Got the quick completion. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced the punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going. Leaves it with the back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. And the Cougars racing to the line in the hurry up. Might as well stick with him. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And a first down for the offense. Holds and fires complete to the right. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so it's been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500 out of the Heisman, man. It's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been dead accurate throwing it guess what this game is far from over the defense wouldn't let him loose there and it was a completion but they lost yardage fast motion from the offense on third and long trying to convert through the air and the defense makes him play and they get the quarterback down at the 26 and now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Top five teams duking it out right now, man, and check this out. LSU is currently ahead in this one in Death Valley, but I can see Mike the Tiger out there pacing. This has been a very close game. They're up by 10 over Ole Miss. 
We'll circle back if anything changes in this contested top five matchup. Back to you guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Let's see what he can do with the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Fresno State offense onto the field. He's going to pass. They're working that left side. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. Off the RPO complete. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw, it's Keen. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll run play action. And he can't escape, and down he goes. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They're bringing heat. And this defense goes back-to-back -back sack, Jack. Fresno State will have to punt it away. Running it back, it's Freeman. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Opening play of this drive comes from the 34. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the he stopped for a short game. They give it to him again. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. The Cougars want to pick up the tempo. He'll throw on third down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Hernandez. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Wazoo headed to the line with another first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? The inside handoff. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Cougars are moving quickly down the field. First down for the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Out of the backfield, he's open. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. They move the tight end all over. The run from the shotgun. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. The offense in hurry up mode. Looking to throw on second down. Finds his big tight end. He steps out of bounds, but not before he has enough to set him up first and goal. 
First and goal, Washington. Was to pass. Takes the easy one to the back. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Barges ahead. Touchdown, Cougars. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 27, Fresno State, 24. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Snags it over the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Looking to pass. It's Keem. Pressure coming. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. The name of the game is protecting your quarterback. He can't have success or complete passes on his back. Let's get the quick passing game going, maybe hand the football off. But whatever we're doing, let's go the opposite direction. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. Keeps it going. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He'll pull it down. Got all he needed for the first down, and then he gets down on the slide. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. They'll throw it on first down. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. On second down, he'll fire throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Firing to the right complete. And stampeding through the defense. And he wisely gets out of bounds. The clock can be the enemy right now, and this offense needs to get some points. Where's the defense on that last play? It's a two-minute situation. You've got the guy making the catch in the middle of the field. You've got to tackle him in bounds and keep this clock moving. Somehow they were able to let him get outside and stop the clock. That just can't happen. And the Bulldogs will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it! And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. And if they want to take the lead, can't be thinking field goal here. They'll need a touchdown to go up in the fourth. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. Back to throw. It's Keen. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And inside a minute to go, they've got the lead. Man, the 
this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. The AT unit on the field. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Cal handled its business today away from home. What a thorough beatdown. And what poise this generally young team showed. I think even other coaches will point to this as what's possible. Throws to the tight end. Got his man downfield. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. He's looking for a man on second down. He's taking a deep shot. And that one's too high and too wide. Out of bounds and incomplete. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Well, you look at the clock, they've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a, a last-second, last-chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. We've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. 